ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is time! YouTube salute. I'd like to give you my fight prediction and breakdown for Devin Haney versus Alfredo Santiago. Oh, yes. This fight is going down November 9th on the zone. Yes, please check it out. Saturday, November 9th on the zone, y'all. Please check this out. This is going to be for the WBC World Lightweight title. Not the intern title. Devin Haney is the WBC World Champion at the lightweight division because Vasily Lomachenko is now the Dynasty Champion, whatever you want to call that stupid title that they upgraded him to that I don't even count as a real title. But let's just get into my breakdown. Um, so Alfredo Santiago is from DR, Dominican Republic. He's 24 years old. He's 5 foot 11. He has a 71 inch reach. Um, his orthodox stance, no title. His record is 12 wins, zero losses, zero draws, only four KOs, a 33% KO percentage. Devin Haney, United States. Oakland's in the building, y'all. 20 years old. He'd be 21 November 17th. 17th. He's 5'8", 71-inch reach also. Orthodox stance. He has a WBC world title. This is his first defense. 23 wins, 0 losses, 0 draws, 15 KOs, a 65% um, KO percentage. This fight is going to take place... Um, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, just to let everybody know. So, from my breakdown of watching Santiago highlights and some of his film, Santiago, he likes to pressure fighters, you know, when they off their game or he sees an opening. So, if he tries to pressure Devin Haney, he's in for a rule breaking and he's going to get his ass knocked the fuck out. I'm not going to lie. Devin Haney is on a whole nother level for Santiago. Santiago, I'm not even going to say he's going to oppose a threat to Haney, but he's going to try to give him some slick movement, slick movement. A lot of fighters from like Cuba or DR or the Caribbean, they have that slick fighting style that can give fighters problems in the early rounds. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes the whole fight, it happens like that. So, you know, but I believe Santiago he knows Devin Haney's a good fighter, but I think he got something to prove and he's going to try to come out and throw combinations and work Haney's, Haney's body, but Haney's going to actually work his head because one thing about Devin Haney, Haney loves to stay in the pocket. He's poised. He loves to throw combinations, rip combinations to the head and the body. An explosive jab. He can double up, triple up, quadruple up on that jab. He can move it to different velocities. It can go to the head, to the body. So that jab is going to be a key factor for Haney to start the fight off. Then I can see him switching things up from the jab, throwing, working in the right cross. And also, he'll start faking the jab, feigning the jab, and using the left hook coming across, not just to the head, but to the body. I believe Santiago's going to have problems, and he'll start backing up. He might try to stay in in front of Haney to show that he ain't scared and it's a pride issue, but that will actually get him hurt. And I believe the referee is going to stop this fight. This fight is going only five rounds. Devin Haney will win by TKO in the fifth round. Mark my words, sign, seal, deliver, whatever you need to do. Devin Haney will retain his WBC world title. Is going to still call out Lomachenko or Javante Tate Davis because he is the man at 135. Yes, we know Vasily Lomachenko does his thing, but they need to get their scrap on. So that is my fight prediction and breakdown. What you think? Let me know what you think below. This fight also will be televised on Sky Sports. So if you don't have the, the zone and you're overseas, Sky Sports is having this fight. So post your comments below. Hoax smash, Black Panther, the like button, and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, everybody. 
peace and blessings, and you have a great, magnificent day.